a small example. Imagine you have some labels. Now imagine you want to stick these labels on a calendar to show special dates. There's only room for two labels in a slot, so how many different dates can you mark? You can put either of the two labels first. Then for each of those you can put either of the two labels next. To show this another way, you have four distinct possibilities. Imagine you realise that if you just move the labels a little closer together, you can fit three in each slot. Now how many different dates can you mark? Well, for each of the four options you had before, you can put either of the labels in the third position. This gives you twice as many options as you had before. If you have a choice of two tokens and one position, you have two choices. If you have a choice of two tokens and two positions, you have four choices. If you have a choice of two tokens and three positions, you have eight choices. Let's look at this mathematically. For two tokens and one position, you had two choices. Two to the power of one is two. For two tokens and two positions, you had four choices. Two to the power of two, or two squared, is four. For two tokens and three positions, you had eight choices. Two to the power of three, or two cubed, is eight. Is this just coincidence, or can we say that we have a formula? t to the power of p, where t is the number of tokens and p is the number of positions. Try it yourself. What if you have three tokens and two positions? So what's the connection? A bit can have one of two possible values, 0 or 1. That's the number of tokens in our examples. The number of bits is the number of positions. So for 128-bit encryption, using our formula, there are 2 to the power of 128 different permutations. 2 to the power of 128 is 3.4 times 10 to the 38 to two significant figures. That's a lot of zeros. And 256-bit encryption isn't just twice as many permutations, it's twice as many positions. 2 to the power of 256 equals 1.2 times 10 to the 77 to two significant figures. We are assuming we can use a token again, like tossing a coin, rolling a dice, or having a limitless supply of labels. We are not assuming we are removing the token from the pool of those available, which is what happens with the National Lottery. A number can only appear once in each set of winning numbers. That requires a slightly different formula. That's all for now.